Hey guys, greetings from Stirling, Scotland. As you can see, I'm not wearing my trademark hat today. It's a little bit breezy, but the reason I've taken my hat off is because I'm in quite a sacred place. I'm in the, it's actually not that hard to pronounce. I thought it was hard to pronounce, but it's not. It's called the Cambus Kenneth Abbey, and it's on the northeastern side of Stirling town. And I've come here because it is rumored to be the gravesite of a very, very important person here in Scotland. And as you know, watching my videos, it is the rumoured grave of William Wallace, Sir William Wallace, the greatest Scottish hero this land had ever known. And this is the ruins right behind me here. This is what's left, really. It's also the burial ground for James, King James III, I believe it was. But this is the abbey as it stands just outside of Stirling town. Now, what I wanted to show you was that I have found the rumoured grave of where William Wallace's right arm has been buried and interred here. And um, of course, I brought a rose to him in London at Smithfield Market where he was executed. So of course I found it fitting to actually go into town, buy a red rose from one of the um, lovely flower shops in Stirling and bring it here to the Abbey for William. And this is his resting place or said resting place right here. There it is. Show you a little bit better. So it's this stone here that is facing, if you say on the south side of it, it's actually facing towards the Wallace Monument or Abbey Craig as it was in that time. Of course, the monument wasn't there until way in Victorian periods. But this is William's grave. This is William Wallace's grave. Um, it's, it's amazing to think that his body parts of his remains are actually here now with the history lesson what I was saying was um, back in London when he was executed his body was hung drawn and quartered and that was a way for Edward the first where he was known as Longshanks Edward the first way of saying this is what will happen to anybody who's a traitor to me so um, it was kind of a way for the English crown and monarch to stamp their authority on traitors as he saw William Wallace as a traitor to the English crown when he just wanted freedom and um, no oppression for Scotland. Um, passionate, determined man, and that's why everybody remembers him so far in the future in 2022 and people still come here and lay flowers. Um, I've got a rose for William, but there is also apparently somebody who does come and lay roses once a year. Um, it's a mystery, but I've come and laid a rose for him. Now the story is, is when his um, body was torn to pieces, his head was spiked on London Bridge and his other parts were sent to Newcastle, Berwick, um, Stirling and Perth here in Scotland. And Stirling is one of the places here. Now it's said to have his right arm buried here facing towards Abbey Craig where in my previous video about Stirling Bridge was where he and Andrew de Moray were able to see the English army and actually be able to um, plot their strategy and how to win the, the Battle of Stirling Bridge in 1297. So um, the way that William got here was with the Abbey of Cambus Kenneth. His uncle was said to be of priesthood. William Wallace's uncle was said to be a priesthood. And um, had the uncle had close relations with the monks here in that time in the 1300s. And so when William Wallace's body was sent up, or his right arm was sent up to here in Stirling, it was meant to have been displayed, it was said to be displayed on Stirling Bridge. And what the monks did in a dark, dark night was that they went and got his body, his um, remains of his right arm, and brought it here to the abbey and had it interred as a way to um, cherish his his remains and of course that was a completely against Longshanks, Edward the first Longshanks um, brutal authority over the Scots but this is what the monks are said to have done, well, this is what the legend says anyway and this is where his said right arm is meant to be right here, William Wallace so it's quite an extraordinary story so um, I've been waiting to come here for quite a bit, I've been doing a little bit of research and asking in town where the abbey was and I found it, I found William but this is where part of his body is meant to be interred. And the other parts, Newcastle, Perth and Berwick. And his head was on London Bridge. So um, 
It's nice to just be here with William and pay my respects to the great Scottish hero and um, lay a rose for him, um, for what he fought for, what he died for. Um, it's just incredible, he was an incredible man and I've been finding a lot about him and the monument. And um, you can actually see the monument walking down to the abbey and you can actually walk back up to the monument from here. But um, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was. I mean, I'll just show you a little bit round. This is the abbey here. So we're at the bell tower. They said in that time Parliament would congregate here after the Battle of Bannockburn, I think it was. I have to look into more of that. Um, Bannockburn. But I'm here for William. I'm here for Sir William Wallace. So if you are in Stirling, guys, do come down to Cambus Kenneth uh, Abbey and seek out William. He's just here. He's just here, and if you stand at the southern, let's see if I can get that right. If you stand at the southern side of his grave. It's facing towards Abbey Craig, on the hill where the Wallace Monument is. So there we go. Finally, come to visit William. I was at his end, laid him a rose at Smithfield Market in London. I've come to lay a rose for him, where his body is said to be interred and buried. So I'll leave you there spend some time with William Wallace here in um, Canvas Kenneth Abbey and thanks for watching guys peace out rest in peace William Wallace